To stabilize or not to stabilize? That is the question. At least when it comes to virtual reality game footage. And it would seem that the answer is in. Not stabilize. I actually released the original non-stabilized version of the Fallout VR footage I took, the episode one. I uploaded it with a stabilization um, process, first of all. But then I decided to release the original just so that people could compare them. And I don't quite know why, but there was a little side of me thinking that that one was easier to watch, even though logic was telling me the stabilized one was going to be easier. And indeed, if you try to read the chat in the stabilized version, it is easier. The text doesn't jump around as much, so it's a lot easier to read. And so common sense would say that means that's the best one to watch. But overwhelmingly, the feedback I got was, no, nah, the non-stabilized one was just easier to watch. And it could be because there was no distortion at the edge or that you got a wider field of view because you did lose some of the peripheral vision in the stabilized version, quite a lot actually. And that might just be what's making the difference. But whatever it was, the feedback I got was overwhelmingly positive that the, the non-stabilized version was better. And of course, that does save me a lot of time having to stabilize it. The stabilization process probably adds about 18 hours to the damned process. It's, it's pretty, it's pretty time consuming. I, I would do it though. In fact, I'd already done it for episode two, but I'm thinking I'm just going to stick with the non-stabilized version. People seem to prefer it. It's a little less time on the render rig and I think I agree. Even though logically my brain is saying, yes, but one of them's stabilized, the other one's not. And yes, I can see the stabilization actually occurring. When I do side-by-side -side comparisons, I can see the stabilized one is more stable. And yet there's a little side of me just says, no, but I prefer looking at the non-stabilized one. So anyway, the, I'm, I'm going to leave the stable one and the unstable one uploaded for episode one. But from now on, I'm just probably going to upload the non-stabilized version. I'm going to do some things to try and make it a little more pleasant. I'm definitely going to um, try and get higher frame rate and no screen tearing. I've, I've pretty much got that at the moment. I just have to see if it's a viable long-term option. So it will be more pleasant to watch. I mean, high frame rate and no tearing is going to make the footage probably 10 times better than stabilization anyway. So that's what I'm going to focus on now. But there you have it. Not stabilizing seems to be the way forward in virtual reality, which is a little odd.